okay, let me take one of these. Now I could deal with this dog on this. <laughs> that would be like Jimmy Hoffa. I'm done talking about this. You know, in that movie, uh, what was that movie? Uh, the uh, <laughs> the Irishman. <laughs> you know, he's locked up. He's Al Pacino and the other dude. He's like, I'm done talking about this. Yeah. Whew. But you go ahead and lay it on down, do your thing. I'm going to finish uh, watching this movie here. And uh, I'll check out the news at the bottom of the hour because I know their rebroadcast would already miss. You know, if you missed the first 15 minutes on the top of the hour of the news, you'd have missed all the good stuff. So. And I'm waiting to see uh, what comes on the news about somebody that was from a suburb outside Chicago. I don't know what dude's malfunction was. That one left me like, huh? Shoot, homie doggone. Seven family members then drove to Texas. The next thing you know, he doggone. Had an encounter with the police, and then he gonna turn the thing on himself, and I'm like, that's not normal behavior. Smash it! The computer froze. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah so. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So. What were you talking about while I was frozen? Oh, I didn't know the froze. I said, no, I said, it's the story that I've been waiting on information out of Joliet, Illinois. It's a suburb outside Chicago. Uh, this dude, he deleted seven family members, right? What? Yeah. He's 23 years old. Oh, my God. And he drove all the way, like, near San Antonio, Texas. And had got into an encounter with the police and then deleted himself. Oh my God. So I'm like, I wanted to get, see what was going, because that ain't, you know, normally something like that come on, you know, they'd be like, well, we know what nobody black. And then the, they put a picture of the dude up and it's like, huh? Black right. folks smoke their whole family and then drive 1,500 miles away. Like I told you, the winds of change are coming. <laughs> what is going on? Did you hear about that guy that um, confessed to uh, Erdis being a serial Erder? No, I mean, there's so many of them now coming up. They're just popping out of nowhere. You Hell, you had this sister down here. Uh-oh. You had a sister down here, and 20 years ago, it happened to her son. Now, they just brought that case through DNA evidence, so they just doggone gave her 10 years. They were going to give her life, but they said that they couldn't fit, they couldn't they didn't have enough evidence to say that she did it intentionally. All they had was a child that was deleted, right? And uh, yeah, they gave her 10 years. That's sad. Uh... You know, and they had some other incidents. They had these uh, a couple of doggone you know, they had a couple of hot pockets that were uh, hot pocketing and got into it. And it ended up being a SWAT situation. Then they had two hot pocket females and they were having something. And she just was like went and smoked everybody in the vicinity. And they had a police standoff and all that. I'm like, y'all just doing it. And what none of these folk, white folk. 
Like I said, it used to be stuff would happen. You hear 